What's going on boys and girls? It is Munchish Gaming here again and welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into the episode, I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone that sent me encouraging and supportive messages, whether it was on Discord or in my comments on the last video. That last video has hands down the highest amount of likes I have on any video and it's absolutely crazy. Um, a lot of you guys saying that you enjoy the video and uh, you know, like after the whole situation, I was just pretty down. But I did say I was going to take a bit of a break from Ark, which didn't end up happening. I ended up grinding my ass off even harder than I've, I have been like this entire series. And today we're going to be giving you guys a base tour of the new base. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I hope you guys enjoy. So this base, I'm basically getting worse FPS than I was on the Scorch base. And uh, that's a big, that's a big factor in it. Uh, we've got like 350 gigas in this base, maybe a bit more, um, but no, actually, I think it's around 350. Yeah. So that is our bread and butter there. So it's not just one level. There's actually three levels of uh, breeder gigas, zero zero female gigas, and then over here we've got our crafting station, as you can see, nice and neat. All our dedicated storages. We got the forges here. We got the three reps here. If you guys are wondering, we're based in uh, the Mushroom Cave on Rag, so it's really, really big, really, really big. Like we could fit so much more in this uh, in this cave. It's not even funny. Down here, we've got all the uh, flak weapons, vaults, all that stuff, blueprints, uh, structures. So let me just go through here. So yeah, structures. As you can see, got a decent amount of tech structure. Then we got normal structures here, which has got a decent amount of stuff in it as well. Um, then we got all of our blueprints and all that good stuff. I don't want to go through all of that. Bit of lag there. Over here we've got our cryo fridges, like our public cryo fridges, general, whatever they're called. Over here we've got our personal fridges, personal cryo fridges. Then we've got our kit out stuff, like all of our PvP uh, resources, like Fabi ammo, bowlers, grapples, etc personal vaults here and like I said personal fridges not too sure uh, I really want to show you guys this new mech I crafted but I think it's gonna be another episode I'm not too sure just yet I have it recorded already we spent all weekend like 16 hours a day farming uh, OSDs to get 10 mech BPs um, we only ended up getting eight well we got 10 technically but then uh, the servers rolled back and crashed and we lost two so yeah so yeah, cloning chambers over here. Uh, this is my giga here from doing drops. It's a bit low. Uh, then we got all the internals. As you can see, you got another TP here. And like I said, this cave is absolutely massive. And like, you can fit so much. What is this a texture bug? No, it's not. I didn't even realize that was there. So yeah, you could fit so much shit in here. It's not even funny. Um, and then you got the water down there, where we breed uh, our squids and embassies. And uh, yeah, it's pretty much just all gigas in here, not gonna lie. Anyway, let's go up to the second level. Got more zero zero female gigas. This this level doesn't have many because this is where the uh, breeder male is kept. And then we just move it back and forth and it breeds with the top layer and the bottom layer. And then, yeah, pretty much this is all empty because the tame limit's only 500. So it's all basically used on just gigas. Got our plant wire crops there for uh, the gatches. Over here, you might be wondering what the fuck this is. This is our cage for um, hatching all of our gigas. So you like with that many gigas, you literally it takes you like two to three hours to hatch all the eggs. So what we do is that we get as much as we can hold with all our weight, drop a batch here, then we wait maybe a minute or two, and then we drop a new batch over here. You guys will probably see it in this video. I'm gonna put up a video of us getting our uh, latest mutation but uh yeah that's how we do it and it gets pretty hectic in here with all the babies and us killing them and stuff but uh yeah as you can see level 135 bit of a spoiler over there we've got our crops nothing special as i said with the tame limit it's pretty empty here's all of our hatcheries and our fridges for the eggs I apologize for the two FPS as well. Can't really do much about that. Then up here on the third floor, the uh, the top floor, the last floor, 
more internals. Then we've got our war breeders over here. So we just got like three to four of each dino, which we uh, just take turns breeding and imprinting so that we can get our personal imprinted dinos. These are basically our best lines. Um, so yeah, at the moment we're on a 10 times breeding event, but I've like we literally haven't been breeding anything aside from Kigas and Theries, which is on another server. So yeah, here's all of our all of our war breeders. Actually, I need to pop down some more uh, tappy eggs because these ones are fully matured. I should chuck those in the line. So yeah, this is a box here for all of our other breeders, obviously, like when we're raising and stuff like that. The reason why we have this cage as well is that this kind of shows us the range of the nanny without actually having the nanny range on. And then when we want to kill stuff, stuff can't run away, etc. More gatches, more internals. Like I said, like I keep saying, empty because a whole team limit is on gigas and the team limit is pretty shit. It's only 500. But yeah, there's like um, 150 up here, then 150 on the first floor, and then there's a bit more on the, uh, the middle floor. So yeah, that's the inside of our base. And then we're going to take you outside and show you where the magic really happens. This is our last line of defense here. Well, aside from the internals, we've got this 100 turret tower, uh, tower here. 100 turret turret tower yeah 100 turret turret tower here actually down here this is where we breed our water dinos we had another pen that we were sharing with another tribe and uh yeah apparently that's against the rules to uh breed together so we copped a good old ban for that um but yeah we've actually the the k got me ran so uh yeah we might have to work on our water lines again but we've got more squids out here these are all on aggressive that's our last line of defense the 100 turret turret tower all capped got a tp down here oh my god this fps oh <laughs> i don't know if i need to upgrade my pc like my processor and my motherboard or if this is just how badly optimized uh arc is let me just gamma up a little bit and then out here, this is our second line of defense, which is the main wall. 100 turret wall. Um, all the turrets are capped. If you guys don't believe me, I'll show you guys. As you can see, 14.5k, 5k shard, all across the board. Doesn't matter where I look, it's all capped. No cap. Yeah, like, I don't know. I can show you guys every single turret, but they're all capped, as you can see. And then our first line of defense is out here, which is our first line of defense, which is our 200 turret turret towers. And I've got a most of there. What is it doing? What is it fighting? Oh, it's fighting our baryonyx. Yeah, so we got baryonyx out here. Anyway, got two towers, 100 turrets each, all capped, like I said, like, merging in our se tribe like half of it into this tribe and then xero took the other half to his tribe we're so fucking resource rich it's actually insane uh just been waiting for what the fuck oh. <laughs> oh the boys are having a bit of pvp but anyway um yeah cap turret towers and then we got more up here as well these ones up here are just protecting spam for above our uh, above our cave, which are all capped as well. Then we got four turrets, turret towers up there, and then all of our spam. I don't know. Is this is this boring or is it entertaining? I'm not too sure. As you can see, our spam's pretty fucking hectic. Um, but yeah, that's this is our base, boys. This is our base. Next up, I guess I'll show you guys our TP over at the swamp, and here it is. Has it been wiped? I oh know, here it is. There it is, boys. There is the uh, TP. You guys might have seen that in Adam's video where he did his own version of um, the base tour. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again so much. Oh my God, the FPS is so much better out here. Thank you again so much for all the encouraging messages, all of the, all of the support that you guys sent my way. A real, uh, I'm speechless. I have no words for it, boys. Like, I really don't. Thank you so much. This is our new base. I'm going to call it our base because I share it with you guys. I share everything I fucking do with you guys in this game. And uh, yeah, it's what I love doing. So anyway, I don't know what else I'm going to put in this video. If I'm not putting anything else, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys are looking forward to more content. All my trimates are unbanned at the moment. So 
we're going to get to some SmackDown. We're going to really are. So look forward to the future episodes, boys, because there's going to be a lot of content to come. Anyways, if you guys made it to the end of the episode, I've been thinking a lot about doing a 24-hour charity stream. I actually saw Blur do his, and that really inspired me to, you know, get off my ass and try and do it myself. I've been wanting to do one for a very long time, but after seeing Blur doing that and the amount of support that he received from everyone with uh, the donations and all that stuff, it really inspired me to... You know try and do something like that myself i mean with the amount of influence that we have as an art community we can raise a lot of money towards a good cause and you know i was just wondering if you guys would be interested in that uh, i may end up doing it anyway but yeah i'd like to see your feedback anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments below i hope you guys enjoyed the episode there's going to be a lot of fire content coming up in the next episode so definitely stay tuned for that and as always Stay fucking awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.